founded Forder about 10 years ago, but actually uh, our background in, let's call it bad guy detection, goes back almost 25 years ago. Laurent and I, so Laurent, my co-founder, we know each other from high school. Then we served in the Israeli cyber intelligence for a couple of years, and then together with our third co-founder, Alon, uh, we worked at a company called Fraud Sciences that was acquired by PayPal. And through the learnings of all of this uh, kind of technology evolution and how we uh, need to solve the fraud problem, we were actually in a random trip in the Canyonlands in Utah, and we decided that we probably should get together and solve it once and for all for the entire market, rather than solving it for one company at a time. So the existing fraud prevention when we started the company had two major issues. The first one is every retailer, because they're liable for fraud, have to, in a siloed environment, create a very complicated operation without relying on any external insights or data. And that makes them substantially more fearful of fraud or risk adverse than they should be. So that actually the main problem of fraud is declining too many good orders rather than having fraud come through. And the second issue was lack of automation. People relied on setting up rules, manual reviewing orders, which made everything slow and not very scalable. Now, 10 years ago, e-commerce wasn't where it is today, but luckily we, uh, we did start the company when we did and we made it 100% automated. So it fits to the kind of thousand transactions a second rate that we're having our customers do today. So I think being recognized as part of the Cloud 100 for the second year, right, it really puts us in the league of the best right, cloud or SaaS companies in the world. That does uh, set us apart from within our market, and it also validates the fact that the market, which, to be honest, when we were starting, I had to convince VCs that it's big enough and it's interesting enough, is big enough, uh, and it's growing bigger uh, and gets the recognition it deserves and should get. Fraud protection is a market, right? We are barely 1% in, right? You think of where commerce is going and through everything that's being digitized, look, we're talking at over $20 trillion of commerce. And last year, we've only processed or monitored about $240 billion, which may sound like a big number, but it's barely 1% of where we should be. Uh, and the market is becoming more and more complicated. Consumers expect, kind of, consumer expectations are higher every year. Even if you don't compete with specific companies, as a retailer, you need to compete for those higher expectations of consumers. And that makes the fraudster's job even easier because there's less friction, everything's more immediate, you have more choices to attack. Uh, and that makes our solution incredibly uh, important.